Welcome. Hello, everyone. It just says I'm live and we're going to get started here in 10 minutes. I hope that you're having a fine start to your day. I'm here in California and it's just uh, almost 12 o'clock. And if you're on, let me know where you are. Where are you in the world? Um, and you are getting ready to do a C2, a power vinyasa class with me. My name's Amy and again, welcome. Let me check my mat out. Thank you for being here early. And uh, who's ever on, are you able to see my whole mat? It looks like you are, but I just would love to verify. And if you're curious, if you wanna join the chat function, just log in on your phone or your computer and you can type in, well, you can share how you're feeling. Um, I'll ask a few questions and I'd love to know where you are. So please uh, type on in. Robin, yes, you can see the whole map, thank you. Looks like you can see my whole head. Yeah, you're starting the chat. Teresa, thank you, your mat is visible, thank you. Thank you, Robin. Karen, is, it, is that how you say it? Karan or Karen from Boulder, hearts. Crystal, best lunch break ever, hi from Denver. Hello. So good to see you all. My um, good friend AC is teaching bodyweight yoga sculpt today. Mariana um, from Chicago. Yes, my good buddy Samson, who teaches live stream, is from Chicago. You might know Samson, Frederick. Like Kira, thank you with an N. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Again, my name's Amy. I'm based in San Diego. It's a beautiful overcast day here, but we're gonna flow and breathe to bring out the sun. Laura, UK, nice to see you. Thank you for being here. Really all you need today is a mat. Sierra Armstrong, hello, excited to join your first time. I love it, this is an all levels class. If you ever need a break, go to um, Child's Boats. Eric, this is uh, Tiana, I believe. Kelsey, you're joining from Columbus, Ohio. Yes, so good, it is 3 p.m. there. Nice Columbus. Um, I grew up in Pennsylvania, but then my childhood was Indiana, so we drove through Columbus a lot going back and forth, and so that was my memory <laughs> of Columbus. And then recently, a few years ago, I was able to go to Short North, um, and I don't know if you've ever been to Short North, but I was blown away by the beauty there. So, so pretty. Kelsey, you grew up in PA, Pittsburgh. I was born in Pittsburgh. Well, McKeesport, it was a suburb, a suburb of McKeesport, of Pittsburgh. Brittany, hello from Chicago. And my mom and my family still live in Pittsburgh. So hi fam, Kelsey, uh, Short North. You lived in Short North. It is so fantastic. Hi Kat from Dallas, hello. Uh, it's just art district. Uh, it was so beautiful. Um, it was snowing while I was there too. It was just really stunning. Carolyn from Chicago, yay. You're joining with your mom in San Francisco and she's in Fullerton. Hi, Sarah and mom, what's your mom's name? <laughs> um, so good to see you all. I'm grateful and grounded to be here and this week as we move into this really deep inner retreat, we've been spending more time obviously in our homes. Um, I've been asking myself the question, uh, what practices am I doing to um, pull myself into the learning zone. So I wanted to ask you, what practices are you doing on a daily basis that is pulling you into the learning zone? Joseph, hello, hi. And then if you want to answer that, I, I have an extension of that question. When you're in the learning zone, how are you employing healthy limits? It's a, it's a deep question, right? And just with love and light to look at it. So for me, um, I'm coming back to writing and reading poetry. It's one of my passions. Just 10 minutes a day, nothing crazy. Hello, Crystal. Hello. And um, as I read and write poetry, one healthy limitation is, hold on, I'll finish that. Los Angeles, Lori is in the house. Thank you for being here. So good, from San Diego and Poway. Karen, thank you so much for being here. Tampson. 
from Denver. Yay, I can't wait to uh, flow with you. I'm so grateful. So coming back to that healthy limitation, it's been replacing doubt with creativity. Um, it's so horrible sometimes just writing poetry and kind of like those doubtful thoughts. So I've just been recognizing that and with healthy limits, coming back to um, creativity in my breath. Chelsea Murphy in the house. Hey, I didn't get to see it. Someone from Seattle. I think it was, it was, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, Benjo. And it, please correct me if I didn't say that right. I only have like a second to read it before it disappears. Amanda from Oceanside, California. Uh, Amanda, I'm in San Diego. Thank you for joining. Jordan Smith. Yes, reading and writing is bringing you to the learning zone. Thank you for sharing, Jordan. And everyone, I ask the question, what's bringing you into the learning zone? What's a practice that brings you to a space of getting stretched, of inquiry? I call that the learning zone. And when you're there, what healthy limit are you employing for the change? A lot of painting, Joseph. Amazing. Kimiko, yay. Thank you for bringing bread to my doorstop yesterday. It is amazing. And the hummus was just, you are a bread goddess. Laura, Brianna, and Noel. Well, Noel is here. Yay. Noel, thank you so much for being here. Um, Noel, I just shared a writing and reading poetry is bringing me into the learning zone. I know you're a poet. <laughs> So uh, I just wanted to shout that out because I love, that's one reason why I just love taking your classes because um, you bring that essence, that passion. So thank you for letting me put that on blast. But Noelle from San Diego, I love you. Kimiko from San Diego, I love you. Jennifer, this is your first live CPY class. What? Thanks for being here. My name's Amy uh, 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 Ashley from Louisiana. I think it was Louis Louisiana, I'm not sure. Hearts, Kimiko, thanks for giving me the heads up. Um, everyone, you'll need a mat. Paula, aloha. Thank you for being here. Welcome, Hawaii. <laughs> it's, what time is it there? Are you, what time is it in Hawaii? I'm gonna guess, eight? Is it 8 a.m. right now? <laughs> I'm guessing. Um, you'll need a towel or a strap, a little hand towel, bath towel, or strap. Um, I recommend that. It's 9 a.m. I was close. Wonderful. Good morning. If you're on the West Coast like me, good almost afternoon. Camille, you've been watching physical therapy videos on YouTube. Muscle action cues and muscle action drills. Jai. Hello, Alexandria Zipper. Wow, so many friends from San Diego. Thank you for joining me, everyone. Jeanette from Irvine, California. Thank you for being here, Jeanette. So good, so grab a yoga strap or a towel, anything anything that is just, um, that will allow you to um, use for a hamstring stretch later. So grab that and your yoga mat. Chelsea, you know Jeanette, lovely. I love that connectivity from um, the live love stream. We are connecting in different ways um, than we ever imagined. And in my yoga sculpt this week, Sunday, Monday, I created a hand mudra for a heart hug. So join me, take your two pinkies. Pinkies, get them out. And then latch them together. Hi, Jackie. Yay, Jackie's teaching this Thursday. Body weight yoga sculpt. So heart hug, heart hug with me. I love heart hugs. The heart anatomically resides a little bit more on the left, but our yoga heart's right in the center. So this represents heart hugs. So join me if you want a heart hug. And if not, <laughs> that's okay. Anything I say is completely optional. Um, and in class, so Camille, Jordan, you know each other, I love it. Or if you don't know each other, you now know each other. That's so great. Robin, daily yoga, that's been bringing you into the learning zone and digging into anatomy for your yoga, um, your yoga book. Yes, so good. Wow, you're writing a yoga book. I want to purchase that when it's done. I can't wait. A lot of my good friends are writing books. I want to give a shout out to Katie B in San Diego. She's digging on, she's digging in and doing the works. So good. Ozgi, hello. I hope I've said your name correctly. What a beautiful name. Welcome. I'm Amy and San Diego. It is right on the dot, 12 Pacific Daylight Time. 
and it's now yoga time. And before we get started, I wanted to remind you, um, grab a yoga mat. And hello, Carmen from Berkeley West. I love you. And your cat's taking this class. What's your cat's name? Katie LaCap's often taking in class and her cat's name's Waffles. And I love Waffles and I love Katie too. So Katie, if you're on, I love you. Um, outside of your yoga mat, grab a yoga strap. And if you don't have, yes, a dog leash works so perfect as a strap, a belt. I don't own one belt, I just realized, because I was like, oh, I could suggest a belt. Um, hi, Rosie, but I don't have a belt. But if you have a belt, that could work. A hand towel, a bath towel, anything. The dog leash is such a great idea. Thank you for adding another tool in my name so I can offer that as I teach live on stream, because we, we really need to MacGyver things as we figure out this um, yoga at home. So as you grab your mat, your dog leash, or your yoga strap, hand towel, whatever that is, um, one quick question is I've been asking, what's a practice that you've been in implementing that has been bringing you into the learning zone? Good, just do a little bit of inquiry what that is. And if I could, if anyone else wants to chime in, meditation, Ashley, thank you. For me, it's been reading, writing poetry. I would have to say meditation. That someone said, Jordan, I believe it was you, that you said yoga. Attempting full splits, that's the learning zone. Journaling, Sierra, absolutely. Jai, love it. Thank you so much, Sierra. All right, I'm getting the music ready, team, because we are going to do the yoga. And again, a, yoga, a painting is in your home. Thank you so much. I love it. Thank you for sharing that. Taking walks outside without technology, that's the learning zone. Writing class, learning to garden, Molly, fantastic. All these things that we get the opportunity to stretch ourselves from the inside out, right? To um, open up and to feel. Hi, Alex. So everyone start to rub your hands. This is the beginning of our yoga class. You don't have to be on your mat yet, but rub, rub, rub. And as you rub, the boundaries of your hands feel. Feel friction. And what does friction create? A little faster. Go, go, go. Homeschool is learning zone. Absolutely. Friction creates heat. So feel the heat. Separate your palms. And in that heat, we have a choice to endure, to feel. And as we endure the intensity, we then reveal the blessing. It's a choice though. So today in practice, impose healthy limits to reap and to invoke creativity and new conscious being, new conscious action beyond just our repetitive crazy thoughts that we do again and again. So if you're on for that train, um, going. Adrian, will you do a music check for me? I'm gonna just start right now and then you can let me know how the music is. So team, go ahead and meet me in child's pose, balasana, extended child's pose. Thank you, Adrian, I appreciate you. DC in the house. Hug your big toes attached. Separate your knees to the width it feels comfortable. Extend your arms. Rest your forehead down. Breathe well, breathe into your nose, inflate your chest, your upper back, your ribs, your belly. Lips sealed, ujjayi, victorious breath out through your belly, your ribs, your chest. Breathe in, seal your lips, hum the air against the back of your throat. Lips sealed, hum the air against out the back of your throat and through your nose. Ujjayi breath in through your nose. Ujjayi breath out. Hello, Beth O'Reilly. Thank you for joining us. Deep breath in. Ujjayi breath out. Continue to stoke your breath. Gently press your palms, the tops of your feet down into the boundary of your mat to notice, to recognize that you are here and you are whole. 
Take one more conscious breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, tabletop, and recognize as you continue to breathe, you can always go back to child's pose for a rest. Slide your palms gently ahead of your shoulder heads, tuck your toes, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your hips up and back. Bolster your fingers down and forward. Wrap your strong arms in and around to hollow out through your armpits. Soft bend your knees and lift your sit bones up. Grab the earth today, feel the dexterity of your fingers as you hold and cup Mother Earth your mat. And feel the power of your arms as you push your mat away. Take a breath in, lift your right leg high, lift your left heel higher. Exhale, runner's lunge, pull your right knee in and step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Knee over ankle, lower your back knee. Inhale, lift your spine, kind of like a cow variation. Exhale, staggered split, unfold your right leg, draw your hips back. Two times flow, inhale, undulate, Open up like cow spread through your chest. Exhale, staggered split. One more, breathe in. Exhale, push back and pull. As you push back, press your inner thigh into your arm bone. Level your hips. Flex your strong toes towards your shin and then add gas pedal as you push to the ball mound of your front foot. Ignite your breath in. Exhale, runner's lunge, peel your back knee up. Inhale, free leg, down dog. Exhale, downward facing back. Breathe in, lift your left leg high. Lift your left heel high. Exhale, runner's lunge. Plant your left foot to the outside of your left hand, lower your back knee. Inhale, carve to an essence of half lift over your spine. Exhale, staggered split. Let's flow, breathe in, lunge in, lift your chest. Breathe out, push back. Inhale, create heat. Exhale, settle and hold into the little range that you created, the sensation. Push your left arm into your thigh, thigh into your arm. Flex your toes and then pull the palm mound of your left foot forward. Wrap your outer hips in. One more breath in. Exhale, runner's lunge. Lift your back knee. Inhale, three leg down dog. Exhale, down dog. Soft breath in, lift your heels. Exhale, ragdoll. Step your feet hip width apart. Often hands down or bind. Wrap your elbows to inner creases of opposite fingertips and rock side to side. Pause center, bend your knees and take your left hand between the frame of your legs. Tap your outer left glute. Keep in a long spine, take your right hand behind your back. Half line or cup your fingertips to touch. Inhale, elongate your spine. Exhale, twist. Twist your heart to the right. Roll your top shoulder back. Extend through your right leg. Take a breath in. Exhale, release. Shimmy it out. I have an intuition. Music might be just a hint too loud. For now, we'll soften. Bend your knees again and take your right arm between your legs and tap your outer right hip, your glute. Say good job already. Take your left hand half mine. If it's accessible, lax your fingertips. Breathe in, open, and exhale, twist. Extend your left leg. Steady your hips inward and open your chest by squeezing your shoulder blades together. Take a breath in. Exhale, gently release. With your feet hip width or together, bend your knees and slowly allow yourself actually to round bone by bone up. Take your time. Aim your hands at your heart, soft gaze or eyes closed. And today, employ healthy limits to invoke clarity and change. And a sweet breath in, take it all in, feel your endurance. A strong open mouth exhale, feel your power, your 
your determination. Open your eyes, relinquish your arms with your feet hip width and together you choose. Inhale, chair pose, squat down. Right away, eagle arm right, take your right arm underneath, press that elbow wrist or big hug for more support. Accept more weight in your heels, bend your knees. Stretch your elbows forward and up. Breathe in, small uplift. Exhale, eagle chair crunch. Wrap your elbows to your solar plexus. Squat down and pull your navel and your chin to tight inward. Push down, inhale, mountain. Reach up, extend your arms up. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, touch your toes. Inhale, half lift, draw your heart forward, sit bones back. Exhale, low lunge, step your left foot, make sure it's your left foot way back. Back knee down, arms forward, once your bicep meets your ears, inhale, crescent moon. We'll call this crescent moon today. Right away, pull your lower abs back, broaden through your back ribs, and bank down on your front heel without moving it, track it back. Take a breath in. Exhale, playful breath out, high plank. Shift forward, slowly lower all the way down, knees to modify. Slide your palms down, seal your inner palm and outer palm down. Inhale, cobra bhujagasana. Hold and breathe. Press the tops of your feet and the palms of your hands down. Feel the boundary of your mat to lift a little higher. Pull your front ribs in, breathe in. Exhale, release. Plant your palms, tuck your toes, lift your knees, breathe in, high plank. Exhale, down up. Let's flow, inhale, ignite your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Back knee down, arms forward, inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, standing forward, fold left foot meets right. Steady breath in, high half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain. So eagle chair left, squat down and take your left arm bone under. Palms touch or big shoulder hug. Redistribute your weight equally through your entire foot, right and left. Inhale, up, lift, stretch your elbows forward and up. Exhale, crunch. Drive your navel into your spine, round through your spine, or broaden your upper back, tuck your chin. Feel the intensity, inhale, unravel, let it flow. Mountain, exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, half flip, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, low lunge, pick your right foot up and engine it back. Prop your back knee down, arms forward. Once they latch your biceps, inhale, press the move. Scoop your abdominals back. Close your eyes. Feel the boundary of your feet touch and connect to the floor. And through that boundary, uplift. Take a breath in. Exhale, high plank. Knees down to modify it, slowly lower neck. Ears on, tend to your fingertips, open your eyes if they're close. Inhale, vulnerable cobra. With your fingers tented, continue to breathe as you ignite your front hip points together and towards your lower ribs. Take a breath in, feel the equanimity in your lumbar spine. Exhale, easy twist to the right. Lower, but keep your shoulder heads back. Inhale, center up. Exhale, easy twist to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, release. Plant your hands under your shoulders. Lift your knees up for your belly. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down, up. Inhale, amplify your left leg up. Exhale, low lunge, feel the deep crease in your front hip. Inhale, press the wound, reach up, go back. Exhale, standing forward, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Breath the movement, inhale, mountain. Exhale, chair, eagle arm, right arm under. Inhale, lift, elbows. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, left foot butt, exhale, low lunge. Inhale, press the moon. Exhale, high plank. Belly all the way down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, 
exhale. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Breathe in, fire your right leg up. Exhale, low lunge, make it a power lunge. Back knee down, inhale, press the wound. Big breath out, stand four fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, chair, eagle left. Wrap your left arm under, palms touch. Breathe in, lift, sit lower. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, unravel, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Commit to your breath. Inhale, half lift. Right foot picks up. Step back, exhale, low lunge. Back knee down. Inhale, press a moon. Attune to even cadence of breath. Exhale, high plank, belly down. Ten fingertips wide. Inhale, vulnerable cobra. Exhale, twist right, dig in. Inhale, lift up, pull your navel in. Exhale, twist to the back. Inhale, center. Exhale, release. Zipper up belly and your knees. Lift them. Inhale, up plank. Exhale, down back. Breathe in. Reach your left leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Back knee down. Inhale, reach up. Press up, moon. Exhale, standing forward fold. Bend your knees. Inhale, chair pose. Breathe well. Reach your arms up. Re-accept all of the weight into the soles of your feet, your heels, the base of your big toe, and the base of your pinky toe. Breathe. Close your eyes and for a moment, can you bend your knees a little bit more? Feel how that, that will also increase the flexion of your ankles and, and your hips. Reach your arms up, gently bite your front ribs down. Take a breath in, open your eyes. A four count to a sit. It's four, yeah, we're going all the way down. Three, trust yourself. Two, use your hands as you need. One, Navasana, breathe in. Navasana, breathe. For more support, toes down. Reach your chest up. Open your legs. Cross your right ankle over your left, knees wide. Draw your inner elbows to the inside of your feet, your inside of your knees, and lift your chest up. Take a breath in, bask in this weird shape. Exhale, high to low plank, shift forward, plant, step or hop back, high to low. Elbows wrapped straight back. Inhale, up dog, squeeze your shoulder blades together, soft bend your elbows, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Breathe in, peel your right leg up. Exhale, low lunge, step past the surface of thinking. Inhale, crescent lunge, lift up and breathe. Again. Feel and tap into the boundary of your mat just by recognizing and distributing your weight equally from your front and back foot. You naturally amplify up. Take a breath and extend through your back leg with a long spine inhale. Exhale, press and plate, shut around the arms, inch forward, wrap your elbows side. For a moment, take your elbows too far back, too far forward, and then just right like the three little bears. Feel your elbows or rather your thumbs wide. Hold your elbows in gently. Ground your front heel. Let's take flight. Trust your foundation. Inhale. One leg mountain. Lift your left thigh. Parallel or just below parallel. Wrap your hip points in. Reach your arms up. With a buoyant bend in your right knee, take a breath in. Pull your front ribs in. Exhale, open twist left. Go post your arms, bend your elbows, aim your elbows up to shoulder height, aim your hips forward. Inhale, one leg down, option, extend your left leg straight. Exhale, crescent airplane arms, this time reach your arms back, left toes back. Inhale, star, reach up, extend your front leg, reach your arms up. Breathe as you equalize the weight in your feet and wrap your upper arms and inhale. Exhale, goddess pose. Bend your knees, wrap your elbows to your sides, aim your tailbone down, and lift your shoulders up. Shoulder roll, shoulder roll. Move your elbows in, and your thumbs out, hold. Inhale, warrior two, open up and track your front toe forward. Pivot your back toe slightly in. Firm up your back thigh, and dial your front sit 
tailbone underneath you. Square your chest to the side. Breathe in, stay long on your sides. Exhale, sit inside and go carve your front elbow to thigh or inner thigh pressure today. You can bring your hand all the way to the floor if it supports you. Dial your back hip slightly forward and spiral your chest up to the ceiling to invoke your obliques. Inhale, reverse warrior. Continue to carve your front sit bone underneath you. Reach your front arm up. Exhale, high to low plank. Plant your palms. The boundary on your mat, empty your air. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward face dog. Take a breath in, bask in the intensity. Full breath out. Inhale, engine your left leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge, rise and breathe. Close your eyes. With your eyes closed, take your hands on your ribs. With your eyes closed, feel what's challenged and how you can use your attention to hug into your midline to create stability. Now as you breathe in, feel the boundary of your ribs. Breathe in, let them pull and press into your hands. Full breath out, feel them compress. Open your eyes, reach your arms up, breathe in. Exhale, crescent plane, airplane arms. Wrap your elbows straight back. Avoid over hugging just to the side and then peel your chest open. Drive your navel in. Trust the foundation, the boundary that you set in front of you. Take flight, inhale, one leg, mountain. Place in a special way your attention to what's connecting to the floor. And as you breathe, coil it up. Breathe in. Exhale, vertical open twist. Goal post your arms. Wrap your hips together and level your hip points. Inhale, return. Extend your right leg for heat. Exhale, crescent airplane arms. Feel your right glute. Send your right foot back, arms back. Inhale, star. Toes out, heels in, get big. Exhale, goddess pose. Parallel your forearms, take your thumbs out and out of the mouth. Exhale as you keep your elbows right by your sides. Pulse your elbows back. Feel the posterior delt, the little muscles that live at the back of your shoulder blade. Flex as you draw your thumbs out. Four, three, get a little lower. Two, you have the endurance. Inhale, warrior two, reach up, track your left toes, carve your back toes in and breathe. Just a little bit, take your front hip and dial it gently forward and wrap your front hip back. Square your beating heart to the side and distribute, feel the stride, distribute your weight equally. Breathe in, stay long. Exhale, extend side angle, carve into the angle that feels right in your tailbone to your, your back heel. And then if it feels right, inner thigh pressure, option hand to the floor and open up your chest to the side, to the ceiling. Option, top arm up and over. Pull your navel in, inhale, reverse warrior. Continue to cycle your left sit bone underneath you, reach your left arm up. Exhale, high to low plank. Plug in. Now reboot, empty your air. Inhale, upward facing up. Firm up your thighs. Exhale, downward facing back. Let's have some fun. Breathe in, lift your heels. Exhale, step or hop. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Reboot like a computer forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Four cup to our butt. It's four. Come on. Three, hug your inner shins. Two to the vasana. One, inhale, no vasana. Cross your left ankle over as you breathe out. Open your knees. Hug your elbows to your inner thighs. One more breath and lift your chest. Exhale, shift forward, high to low plank, park forward, step or hop back. Inhale, upward face dog. You can always skip high to low planks. Exhale, down to back. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, use your right hip flexor. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, crescent, plain chaturanga arms. Inhale, one leg, mountain, stay steady. Exhale, open, twist, low post arms. Inhale, one leg mountain, add a flare for heat. Exhale, crescent, airplane arms. Big breath in, star. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, 
soften your tongue away from the palate of your mouth. As you allow the twist to be distributed through your whole spine, for the last breath, soften your belly. And notice as that amplify your twist in a different way. When we're in the heat, can we soften? Breathe in. Easy twist, other side. This is for you, Beth O'Reilly. High foot rather Navasana. Hug in. Mobo Navasana. High to low together. It's in and out. In and out. Exhale. Embrace the burn. As you connect and commit, with the endurance and your integrity in heat expand. On the other side, the blessing will be revealed. You got it? Stay with it for more. Four, relax your face. Three, Navasana. Two, lift your chest. One, Navasana, ankle cross, right ankle over left. Left arm in between your legs. Latch your elbows by your side, to the wrong arms and twist to the right. Now, depending on flexibility, again, flexibility of mind, body, heart, option, extend your legs. I get those right foot four. Three, Navasana, and two. One, Navasana, breathe in. Exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog, you can skip it. I know I am, I'm gonna personalize. Exhale, down dog. Healthy limits. Spine sustainable creativity. Sustainable change. Inhale, amplify your heels. Exhale, forward fold, step or hop. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Feel your, the roots of your heels. Exhale, hover or prayer twist. Hover your right elbow to the outside without connecting. Squat down. Pull your strong heart up into your thumbs. Take a breath in. I want to thank Jason for this one and Heather Peterson. Exhale, full prayer twist. Hug your elbow, your right elbow to the outside of your left thigh. Spread your toes and let your toes be light on your mat, but down. Breathe. Close your eyes. As you go into the heat, what is being revealed to the surface that's hidden? Inhale, chair, unravel. Exhale, beloved, forward fold, hug into your legs. Inhale, half lift. Play time. Exhale, second set of curl. Again, toes down, just stay here. Or hamstring curl. It's curl up and down. Heels in and tap. Exhale, inhale, wrap your elbows straight back. Heart forward, gaze forward. Hug your inner thighs in. Last four, three, high to low, and two. One, or just step back, inhale, high plank. You choose your adventure. Exhale, down dog. Again, choose to breathe in here. Conscious breath out. Inhale, your left leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Dog leash, strap, towel on your top thigh. Inhale, warrior two. I love the dog leash idea. I don't have a dog yet, but one day, and then I'll be able to use that dog leash. Round through your back foot. Beth O'Reilly is a go now. We're good. Breathe in. I'm tracking again. Exhale, extend the side angle. Just stay here. Half mind. Take your top arm. Wrap it. Ensure you have no space from your side to your arm. Roll your top shoulder back. If it works, take the strap in your right hand. Mindfully grab the strap on the other side. Or if you don't need a prop, breathe easy. As you continue to dial your tailbone towards your back foot, open your chest and pull your front ribs in. If it feels right, begin to extend your top arm as you maintain neutral wrist. Relinquish your bind. Inhale, reverse warrior. Stay steady, stay consistent. Exhale, low lunge. Again, come to the border of your mat. From the border, go deeper. Inhale, one leg, half lift. Stay steady as you breathe. Engine your right leg back, feel your right glute. Grab your left hip back. Take a breath in, heart forward. Exhale, Shiva squat hold. Take your right shin to the outside of your left shin. Hands to heart for a little bit more heat. Burn for four, three, one. I'm thinking of you, 
brother. Two, I love you. One, breathe in. Exhale, seated twist. Right knee just steps down to the outside of your left foot and then just sit back. Hug. After intense moments, I know I like a heart hug. That could just mean a hug of going in, of finding time to digest the experience, conscious conversation with the loved one, whatever that hugging in means. We get to move the energy up, reach your arms up, breathe in. It's to assimilate and let it move through. Seated twist, latch, right elbow to the outside of left thigh. Use your left hand as an extension of your spine. Roll your shoulder heads back and find axial extension of your spine. Soften the palate of your mouth. Soften your belly for a few breaths. Does it impact the twist? Are you able to go deeper when you soften in a turn of life? Unravel other side. Breathe in. Exhale, Navasana Boat Pose. Use the softer amplification of music to tune in like into the flame of your heart and let your breath stoke the consistency of the flame. Not so much a flicker when thoughts are erratic, but consistent. Good. Take your left ankle, cross it over your right. Hug your legs like a panini, but then take your right arm and be like, right in between. Hug your elbows in, breathe in long spine. Exhale, twist your body to the left. Continue to find axial extension. Option, I'll do it with my strong body. Do my best. Mind your mindset. As you feel the shake, come back to what feels grounded and where your mind goes in intensity. One more breath. Exhale, relinquish it out. Unravel and just create some circles with your arms. Good. Plant your feet flat. Make sure you have your leash or strap right by your side. And lower on down. With your feet flat, cross your right ankle right over your left. Option to parallel your left shin or keep your left foot down on the ground. Take your shoulder blades off and let your fingertips lightly behind your ears. Cross and lower. Cross and lower. Exhale. Exhale to cross and crunch. Again, you can always take your left toes down or for more heat. Knee in and down. Exhale for even a little bit more heat. Leg extends. Exhale. Exhale. Stabilize your pelvis by pulling your outer hips in. Lift both shoulder blades up. Elbows wide for this one final four. Three. Eagle holding two. One. Wrap just your right leg to the point it's accessible. No need to force the double bind. Right arm under or shoulder hug and just hold. Breathe. Connect your elbow to your thigh. Soften your drawing back to be long in the nape of your neck. You get it. Again, when things get difficult, can you come back to one more breath mantra? It's crunch and open. Crunch and open. Exhale, small crunches. Exhale, just for more. Four. Three, open the other side. And two, only crunch. One, left leg over is crunch. Forward, crunch. Exhale, just like the other side. As you come back to your breath, option float. Or add the knee in, it's in, and tap, in, crunch. Exhale, extend the leg, or even a little more balance challenge. Exhale. Flex your left toes towards your shin to stabilize your knee and your hip. Breathe. <sighs> Tone your lower navel, your navel like to a spine. Final four, three, come on, push. Two, eagle hold, one, eagle hold, left leg. I like to shimmy, shimmy. If it's not accessible, just plug your hands shins together. Left arm under, or shoulder hug. Hold the elbow to knee. And four, three, crunch it out, and two, we start with the crunch. One, crunch, open, crunch, open, exhale. Let it go, mind his breath, come out. Ha. 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 Push, push, four, three, two knees to chest, one knees to chest, inhale. Hug your knees in, exhale. Breathe in, stretch your glutes. Exhale, feet down, 
toes came forward, arms by your side, with heels under your knees. Even push down through the base of your pinky toe. Inhale, bridge with your hips. To bounce on the chaturanga arms, take your hands and leave them underneath you. And gently shimmy onto your shoulder blades like a platform. With the boundary of the, your shoulder blades hugging together, lift up through your body, your front body, and climb your front ribs back down. Without moving your arms, Gently sweep them apart. Firm up your thighs. Take one more breath in. Let your heart lead. Exhale, heart. And then your tailbone always to the ground. Take your strap, your leash, your towel. Lasso the sole. The, actually, the ball mound of your right foot around both ends of the strap. For today, one line from hip, knee, heel, option, left leg walk. Breathe. Wrap your inner right heel up as if it could touch the ceiling. Wrap the outside edge of your right heel downward. Breathe. Throw up your right thigh gently. You can bend the knee to customize. Take the strap in your right hand, left hand to left hip, and keeping your hip points level, slowly open your legs, abducted out to the right. Again, no need to crank it all the way down. Move slowly to the point you can maintain your hip points level. I like to palpate the hip points to make sure they're level, and then that will decide the range of motion today. Healthy limits invoke not only change but clarity, what's most present. And as Kevin Peterson reminds me, the present moment is what you're supposed to have right in this moment because it's the moment that you're having. I butchered that a little bit. Take your leg back to center. Take your left hand to your left hip crease and move your leg out to the left. Again, just do like a 45 degree angle. Suction cup your right thigh back into the socket. Gently flex your toes. You feel a stretch wherever you feel it. Sensation. Dial your leg straight up. You take your left foot straight up and replace where your right foot is. Stomp your right foot down or extend it long for more heat. Bicep curl your strap down. Make a gentle choice to gently firm up your left thigh. This will create some more openness in the back of your thigh or hamstring. Press a little bit more through your inner heel up. Pass the strap to your left hand, right hand on hip, hip points level. Shimmy your leg out to the left. Maintain the line from hip, knee, and heel. Send if your right leg is long, send it to the front of the room. Come back to center. Aim strap in left and right hand. Lasso up your left hip with your left hand and move your strap over to a 45 degree. As you kick to the right, plug your thigh bone back into the socket. Be gentle as you find the edges of your hips. And play healthy limits to invoke the change. Come back to center. Take your strap off to the side and rock and roll playfully the distance of your spine. After your second and third rock, come to a standing four fold. In three. Last two, you can use your hands. And one more full top of your back. Cha cha on your feet. Separate your feet wider than your mat, your heels on your mat, toes off. And then slowly begin to bend your knees and lower your pelvis. Walk your hands to your heart and uplift a little bit. It's a low frog malasana. Smear your body weight all the way to the base of your pinky toe so your weight is equally distributed. 
And now press your elbows into your inner thighs and your inner thighs back to your elbows. Direct your focus, tether it to your breath and hand. Exhale, forward fold, harness your energy, pull your feet back, hip lift or together. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, high plank. You choose, breathe in. Exhale, high to low plank or downward face dog. Breathe in. Exhale. As we build the heat, employ conscious choice making. Locate habitual behavior and navigate to new rituals. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Feel your back heel down and prep for a warrior one stance and just climb your hands to your hips. As you hug your outer hips in, motivate your front shin forward. And ignite your back heel down with your back toes turned in towards the left corner of your mat. Your feet can be wider or narrow, you choose. Keep it along the spine and your right hip back. Inhale. Steer your hips to the point where they open and pause. And then take your hands on your ribs and then twist your ribs open to face forward. Reach your arms up, palms touch. Gaze up gently. Ignite your lower ribs in. Option to close your eyes. Distribute your effort. Place your energy into the soles of your feet. And ascend the energy all the way up to the tips of your fingers. With your eyes soft or closed, windmill your arms or fingers behind you and weave your fingers together. With a soften in your elbows, push your palms gently down, your knuckles down, and then back. Continue to employ that soften in your elbows. Breathe in, navel in. Exhale, slow, humble with your right hip directed back. Direct your focus equally into your front foot and your back foot. Re-hug your shoulder blades together to open your chest. This bind is helping to balance out all the chaturangas, all the high and low planks. Release your hands gently to the floor. Inhale with your chest. Exhale, pyramid, parasvottanasana. I like to step my back foot slightly in, extend your front leg, breathe in. Grab your right hip back. As it feels right, elongate and then mold, melt over your right leg. Without moving your front heel, track it back. Accept a little bit more weight to your front foot. Take a breath in, lift your chest. Keep your back heel down, just bend your knee and wrap your front arm bone into the inside of your leg and draw your right hand, tip, 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 toe, your fingertips as wide as far as it can go. Roll your right shoulder head back in the socket and left hand to left ankle. Track your front knee in line with your mid toe, so hug your right leg in like a panini and open your chest up. All the vulnerabilities that are revealed, anything hidden that comes to the surface, are you willing to pause and breathe in the intensity? Relinquish the bind, breathe in. Exhale, wide leg, forward fold. Extend your right leg, extend both legs, and then bend your left knee with your torso facing the side wall. Take your left hand way out, tent your fingertips, grab your left ankle with your right hand, Inhale, extend your left leg gently. Exhale, wrap your torso between the frame of your left arm. Aim to level your hip points. I have some work there to do, right? Breathe in. Exhale, low lunge. Gaze forward and identify your left knee. Breathe in. Exhale, seated big four. Take your knee to the outside of your right foot. Sit down. And latch your right ankle over your left knee. Prop yourself up. If you feel too much, post your pelvic tail in your spine. Permission is up to walk your foot out or sit on a pillow or a bolster, or actually you can come to your back. For those of you that are up, we're gonna move into 
a press down shape. Before we move, gently flex your right toes again to stabilize the rotation of your two lower leg bones into your upper leg bone. Your upper leg bone into your hip. Take your breath in. Stay here. Our exhale, take your right leg and wrap it around your right arm like a backpack. Extend your left leg long and latch your right heel on your shoulder. Roll, roll your shoulder heads back. Place your hands right underneath you. Avoid boxing in too much. From here, just hinge forward. Hug your right arm into your leg, leg into your arm and hinge forward. Pull your inner groins back. Inhale. Exhale, elephant thinning pose. Echo Pada Bhujasana. Lift your hips. Option, float your left heel. Breathe. Push down, pull your navel in, squeeze leg to thigh, thigh to leg, inhale. Exhale, release. Shake it out, shake it out. If you're on your back, roll up, breathe in, cross your ankles. Exhale, down on dog. Let your palms step back. Check in, stay here, or breathe in plank. High to low plank, you choose. Inhale, upward facing back. Exhale, downward facing back. Inhale, slow down. Exhale. Inhale, amplify your left leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Ground the back, your back heel and take your hands to your hips. As you hinge forward, continue to draw equal weight between your feet. Pull your left shin forward. Spread your heart forward and navel in. Inhale, lift up, warrior one. Adjust your stride. Stand in to your power just for your torso. Option to extend your arms, palms touch, and release your thumbs. Soften your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Lift and relax your, lift your ears up and back. Bring your gaze gently up. Breathe. With an intensity, you impose, you employ healthy limits that can be as soft as a dragonfly or as sharp as a razor's edge. Again, personalize your practice. Allow yourself to bask in the intensity. With a soft gaze or eyes closed, windmill your hands behind you. Weave them together. Find a little bit of a different grip. Breathe in. Widen your collarbones, keeping your left hip back. Exhale, humbly bow, humble warrior. Dip your mind below the surface of thoughts. And then B, bring your mind into your back foot as you engine it back. Distribute your weight between both feet as, the, as consciously as you can. And even notice your elbows, soften them to wrap your upper arms together. And then just let your head hang heavy. Soften your hands down to the floor. Breathe in along at your spine. Exhale, Pyramid Parsvottanasana. Unfold your left leg. Accept equal weight and breathe in. Draw your heart forward. Exhale, dive your brow towards your front shin. Drive your navel in. Rock your left hip back. Again, where are you over efforting? Allow the calm cadence of your breath to keep your eternal flame constant and consistent. Take a breath in, just elongate your stride, bend your front knee, and then walk your left fingertips inside your left foot, and all the way as far left as possible, wrapping your shoulder heads level and on your back, grab your left, ankle with your right hand, pull. As you pull, press your inner thigh into your left arm. Keep your knee in level with, in line, aligned with your mid toes. Relinquish, breathe in. Exhale, wide leg and continue to undulate with your left leg straight, bend your right knee. Take your back hand, tend your fingertips, Left hand grabs right ankle, breathe in. Exhale, spiral twist. Allow your right shoulder blade to wrap forward as you open up. Take a 
Take a breath in. Exhale all the way to the front. Breathe in, focus forward. Tether your attention in the heat of what is forward. Exhale, sit down, right knee behind. Big four. Seated, big four. I'll turn towards you. Take your left, make sure it's your left leg. Ankle over your knee. Come to your back for support. Level, actually take your pelvis and gently allow it to anteriorly tilt forward. Sit on a couch cushion, couch cushion or a pillow, anything. Gently flex your left toes. To move into a balance, again, it's a choice. So wherever you choose, choose to breathe well. Take your left leg and like a backpack, your favorite backpack, latching on your left arm. Extend your right leg out. Get a little higher. Without force, plant your palms without boxing in. As if you're holding Mother Earth, hinge forward and pull your inner groins back and your heart forward. The blueprint is fourfold and nasana. So from here, take a breath in. Exhale, lift. Lift your hips, option, float your right leg. Breathe. Take a breath in. Exhale, release. Shake it out. As you breathe well, take the soles of your feet together. Breathe in. Just a few breaths and seated, bound angle pose. Let your breath willow through your body and chest. Double pigeon with the left leg on top. So take your right shin like fire log, parallel to the top edge of your mat. Ankle to knee, take your left. So it ensures your left shin on top. Ankle to knee. If you have space like me, you can take a pillow or a bolster, a block underneath your knee. If this pose doesn't support you, Again, take recline fig four on your back. Elongate your spine, breathing in. Exhale, twist your left elbow to the sole of your left foot. Elongate your spine, press palms to touch, and twist to the right. Slightly tuck your chin and roll your top shoulder back. Come back to center. Fit four and root again. Option to stay here or backpack. Second set. Who doesn't want to do two sets of backpack on one side? Right? We got this. Embrace the intensity once again without boxing yourself in. Hold Mother Earth. Grab the floor. And again, let go of future thinking and let intentional steps and choices lead to the change and expansion. Bend your right knee and take your right ankle on top of your left. Squeeze your legs and with delight, hinge forward, pull your inner groins back and with your elbows wrapping back like a teeter-totter, distribute your heart forward, inner groins back and then kick your feet. Square your torso to the front of the room and push through both hands. The right shoulder will want to dip, press through your right hand. Take one more breath in. Exhale to a sit. Roll your wrist and truly recognize whatever phase you paused or if you went the whole way. Recognize what is coming up for you. And what are you learning? Double pigeon. Take your left shin on bottom. Consciously take your right shin ankle to knee. Pack in any spaces with pillows or blocks and gently flex your toes. You're on your back. If you need more support, no problem. Take a breath in to add a twist with a long spine. Exhale, corks through your heart and latch your right elbow to the sole of your left foot. This is your right foot. So elbow to your top foot. Breathe in long spine. Option high five your hands and exhale twist. Slowly tuck your chin, be long in the nape of your neck. Okay. 
What do you see here as you unravel? What are you noticing? Seat fig four, remain or backpack. Again, your favorite backpack from grade school, put it on or from right now, whenever. Latch it on. Plant your hands without boxing in. Bend your left knee. Conscious breath to take your left foot on top of your right ankle. Hug your leg. Sister, you're doing great. My sister Tara is practicing with us. You've got it. As you shift forward, pull your inner groins back. It's distribution of weight like a teeter-totter. Wrap your elbows back. Hug earth. Lift your hips and kick your legs over to the right as you corkscrew your heart to the front part of the room. Push equally through your hands. Push, push, push. Extend your legs. Breathe in. Exhale, release. Eight angles, Astavakrasana. Back to seated bound angle. Grab your heels. Breathe in. This time, option fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Plant your feet. Deliver your back body to the mat. One gentle set of constructive rest. Knock your knees together. Feet wide. You can stay here. Or we'll balance the body with one final set of bridge with a drill included. Separate your feet, hip width. Aim your toes forward. Inhale, bridge, amplify your hips up. As you gently shimmy your shoulders, keeping your gaze up, grab for the edges of your mat and then wrap your palms around, actually grab your edges, grab the edges of your mat. Pull your mat apart into two isometrically as you lift your hips. Pull your mat apart with your fists. Breathe in, lift your hips from your thighs and climb your front ribs down. Take one more breath in. Exhale, descend, release the bind. Lower your pelvis and pull your knees into your chest. Extend your legs straight up the imaginary wall. Level your pelvis down and extend through the soles of your feet. Stay here gently without rotation of your cervical spine and a soft neck. Breathe in. Exhale without force, plow pose. Take your hands down and your toes up and overhead. Soft bend your knees as you need. Use your hands like brakes. Without any load on your cervical spine, take a breath in. Exhale, death man's pose. Hug your knees around your ears. Option, grab for your ankles. Again, gazing straight up, bring your hands back down and slowly lower your back body all the way down. Windshield wiper your legs left and right. Pull your knees in, extend your legs long and then take the palms of your hands on the mat and shimmy them underneath you. Inhale, press your forearms down, lift your chest, being open in your throat, exhale, fish pose. Take your head, the crown of your head to the floor. And as you cuddle the base of your shoulder blades together, broaden through your chest. Take a breath in. Exhale, gently tuck your chin. Lower the back of your skull and release your feet. One final squeeze, pull your knees in, wrap your arms around the foundation, plug brow to knee. Commit, committed breath in. Full breath out, final shavasana, final rest. Spread your arms and legs wide. And one minute today of final rest. And today, to stretch our learning zone, purposefully employing silence. So as you hold your final rest, I will be quiet for a minute for you to follow your breath with endurance and integrity. I'll mind the time. One minute here.
You're more than welcome to stay here. If you'd like to move into our simple five minute meditation from a seated position, invoke a few steady breaths in and part your lips as you breathe out. A few more of those and let the movement of your breath that's to stimulate any organic movement as you climb back into your strong body. To move into a seated position for meditation, reach your arms up and overhead, a strong Tuesday afternoon or wherever you are in the world, full body stretch. Get long, breathe in. Exhale, roll to your right to close today. One choice to the right, supported rest pose. Allow your right arm to be a pillow and your left hand to be on the floor right in front of your heart. Quietly press yourself up with eyes closed or soft gaze. Emphasize a long spine today. So find a prop, something to gently sit on if you need your hips elevated. Breathe your spine up and with a gentle kindness, take your teeth to the back of your, take your tongue rather to the back of your teeth, your front teeth, and allow this to widen your cheekbones for today. Bring your attention to your heart and take some breaths in and out of your heart. As you breathe into the eternal flame of your heart, silently repeat the mantra just a few times, I connect to. So as you swirl your strong energy through the eternal flame of your heart, silently repeat the mantra, I connect to. As you compassionately connect to not even needing an answer right now, with a sense of warmth from your heart moving down all the way to your hands and now to your solar plexus right below your breastbone. Begin to invoke a little bit deeper breaths in and out. So stoke the fire of your breath. And as you breathe well and full, silently repeat the mantra I commit to. Breathe in and out, silently repeat, I commit to. Whether your eyes are closed or a soft gaze, steady your eyes. The soft face, let go of that mantra and swim your attention to your hips, sacral region, the sacred bone this that connects your spine to your pelvis, your sacrum. As you scroll your energy around your hips, delightfully repeat the mantra silently, I create. Inhale, I. Exhale, create. Tether your attention now to your legs and the very base of your spine. And as you hold the structure of your attention in this location, silently repeat the mantra, I accept. Inhale, I. Easeful breath out, accept. As you breathe in and out, 
repeating the mantra, I accept. Feel your whole body. From your acceptance right here today, choosing to find power in the pause on your mat, Notice where you felt creative in the flow today. Notice when you committed to the pose one breath longer than you thought was possible. And finally here, as you end our time together, compassionately connect to what you need most. In this learning zone, how will you continue to employ healthy boundaries to create change and clarity. From the warmth of your heart to your hands, like a promise of prayer, bow your chin to your heart. Locking in this prayer with peace, peace, peace. Namaste. When it feels right, uplift your chin. And, uh, Again, just notice what you feel. And today it was definitely a potpourri class. We did a lot of hip opening and eight angle pose itself is a hip opener, a twist and an arm balance. So if you're feeling strong, emotional, anything, just perhaps takes five minutes to journal. Hello. Hello, Jackie, thank you so much. And thank you for teaching Thursday PM too. And, uh, Continue to invoke in the blissful inquiry what brings you into the learning zone and how can you employ healthy, healthy, sustainable limits to create a change for us individually and collectively as we navigate these hard times. Thank you so much. Thank you for staying the course. Thank you for your endurance, your commitment. Thank you for your connection heart hugs for the win um you chose connection today and that means the world to me so thank you thank you julia um what time is it oh it's yeah we have one more minute before we wrap our 75 minutes together namaste amanda thank you so much mariana i think that's how you say it thank you so much from new york city amy great name Amy means beloved, my mom keeps telling me. <laughs> Marie Brown, oh, from DC. Good to see you and hear you. Luciana, heck yeah. Thanks, sister. Thanks for twisting with me today. Hello, Heather, namaste. Molly, thank you. Alexandria, thank you. All right, beautiful team. Continue to plug in to those healthy limits. I see you in this divine intelligence. We will continue to connect. Namaste.